Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 5th. I feel like I have to say the date because based on like my video schedule, you might be seeing this like a lot later or you could be seeing it pretty soon after. I don't actually know what I'm doing yet. I'm going for my one hour glucose test today. Basically when you get pregnant, you can get something called gestational diabetes where your body like is reacting to like hormones in different ways and um, basically like gives you diabetes and then after the baby is born it usually goes away I'm pretty sure you know while there are certain people that are more at risk than others it really just sometimes happens and sometimes doesn't so they have to check everybody to do this test you're supposed to drink this sugary drink one hour before and then they take your blood and they make sure all the blood numbers are correct this has 50 grams of sugar in it, so this should be super tasty. I'm not really good at drinking bad things, so we'll see how this goes. I put it in the refrigerator though, so it's cold. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's not very good. Okay, so I need to drink this within five minutes. I have to drink this whole thing. <laughs> it gets worse <coughs> it gets worse the more you drink it they said that this is supposed to taste like flat Fanta and it kind of does but it also kind of doesn't <laughs> Fanta is orange soda I don't know if people know what that is from other countries. I don't know which countries have which sodas. This could be so much worse. I know it could be worse than this. I'm also just not really good at drinking things really fast, especially when they're bad. Okay, it's been two minutes, so I'm not doing so good. I'm halfway through in two minutes. Okay, I'm on track. I'm trying really hard not to gag. And it's mostly from just waking up and having to drink this because I woke up like 20 minutes ago, so. It's not, if I, if I was drinking this in the afternoon, it probably wouldn't be as bad. It's so much sugar. The aftertaste is not bad. I also just brushed my teeth, so maybe that has to do with something. Actually, that probably makes it taste better, right? I don't know. Did it! It's gone. And it's 9.37. That was four minutes. Bam! I'm a pro. I know some people can just chug that thing, but I... I, I could not. I am actually fasting for this. Um, I obviously, I just woke up. I haven't eaten anything today. You don't have to fast for the one hour glucose test. Um, they just told me that it might give me more accurate results if I do. If you fail the one hour test, you have to go back and do a three hour test where you have to drink more of the drink and then you have to get your blood drawn over like three hours like at different intervals. And um, I think my mom and my sister have both had it fail for them before for the one hour test and then they passed the three hour test. So I was like, hey, will fasting actually help me maybe pass the one hour test so I don't have to do the three hour test? And she was like, yeah, that's actually really good for your situation. I would recommend you try to fast. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I am meeting Gray for lunch after this because he's working and around when I finish my appointment it'll be lunchtime and I'm gonna meet him at like my favorite lunch place and I'm so excited because it's like it's kind of expensive for a lunch place like it's like a it's like a Panera but it's like better you know because it's like a local shop but everything in Alaska is kind of expensive so anyway I'm really excited we don't really go there very often and uh, yeah so I'll, I'll be fed well and I'm trying to drink water because because like my veins suck and people can never get blood out of my veins and I'm, I'm a little bit worried that 
they won't be able to and then like we'll get to the hour mark and they'll be like we haven't gotten the blood yet anyway i'm gonna go finish getting ready and leave <laughs> I just read on the piece of paper that it says not to have anything to eat or drink after you finish the glucose drink. So I don't know if that includes water. I did take like one sip of water, so hopefully that's okay. I'll ask them when I get there. <laughs> Obviously, one sip of water is probably fine, but I mean like I'll ask them when I get there if I'm allowed to drink more. Okay, I'm in the car, backing out of the garage. And um, I just put the directions into my GPS and it looks like I'm gonna get there exactly at 10.10. I actually left earlier, but I forgot that I needed to bring Gray his in. I accidentally turned the camera off, sorry about that. It keeps turning off. Um, I left earlier, but I forgot that I need to bring Gray his antibiotics because he's still on his 10 day course of antibiotics for the cellulitis he had in his finger. It's doing a lot better now, if anyone cares. Um, and also, something else for Gray that he forgot. And yeah, but now I'm on my way. I'll see you when I get to the hospital. Made it to the hospital. Sorry, the camera is really close to my face. I have the regular camera, not the GoPro, and the GoPro is superior for vlogging. But anyway, I'm a little bit early, which is good. Um, I'm gonna walk in now, but the drive is so pretty today. It was a little bit rainy and then I tried to show you how pretty it was, but I'm not really good at vlogging while driving and I don't think that's really safe anyway, so I didn't really show you very much, but like the mountains are all snowy and there's still some fall colors on the trees even though they're losing a lot of their leaves, but yeah, anyway, pretty drive. at the OBE's office. Um, it was fine. She actually got my blood on the first try, which was very unexpected. Um, and then I got my Tdap vaccine and my flu shot because they happened to have the flu shots there. So that was really convenient. And yeah, and then I just need to wait for them to call me with the results. Anyway, now I'm going to go meet Gray for lunch. What's up? I'm just chilling here in bed because why not? Um, I think I failed my test. <laughs> so I didn't get a phone call yet, but I did get like a text message to sign up for a patient portal and I signed up for it and then I looked in it and there was the tests. Um, there was like the glucose test which said that my glucose was 175 and um, basically if it's between 140 and 190 then they make you do the follow-up three-hour test. That's what I've gathered from online even though they haven't called me yet so obviously I'm gonna wait until they call me. It said like 120 to 170 was the range and then it said mine was 175. So I was like, oh, mine's not that high. But then when I looked online, it said that it should be below 140. And if it's not below 140, then people do the three-hour test. So I don't really understand why it said that was the range. So, like I said, I'm going to be waiting for the phone call. But I'm pretty sure I failed. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to redo test and take the 100 gram drink. I don't know if I said this before, but um, two appointments ago, I was not able to have my blood drawn. Like I needed to get it drawn for some test and they stuck me like three times and they were like, why don't you just come back and do it next time? So I'm a little paranoid that they won't be able to get blood. This place has more nurses though, so usually people feel better about it if they can like hand it off to another nurse and another nurse can try and whatever, but I don't know, the girl that did mine today was good. She got it first try. Hey, update. It's the next day. I actually got called yesterday, probably at the very end of their work day. Um, but they said that I have to go in for the three hour test, which was expected. 
Um, they just put in an order at the hospital so I can show up whenever I want. She said to probably go early in the day because um, they get really busy and it's just easier that way. So I figured that I wouldn't go today because first of all I got my blood drawn and I wanted to give my veins some time to recover and second of all I wanted to give my body some time to recover from the sugary drink. I was thinking about it and I was like, whose body actually knows how to react when they drink 50 grams of sugar? Like nobody does that ever. So it makes me not feel so bad about it. First of all, I shouldn't feel bad about it anyway because if you don't know, gestational diabetes just doesn't have anything to do with you. It's just a way that some people's bodies react when they're pregnant. So yeah, there's some people that are at a higher risk. I'm not because <laughs> I think like Higher risk is if you are overweight when you start your pregnancy or if um, you're over 30 when you start your pregnancy or if you have a history of type 2 diabetes, which I have none of those things, but that doesn't really matter. This is cute. That doesn't really matter for this because tons of women just still end up with it for like, I guess, no reason you could say. Yeah. <laughs> I started talking so you had to come get attention. Anyway, I'm going to go tomorrow because they said they wanted me to go this week and today's Thursday, tomorrow will be Friday. So I just figured I'll go in on Friday, drink the 100 gram of sugar drink, which sounds disgusting, but it'll be okay. And we'll see if I have gestational diabetes or not.